UX research study aims to answer general questions about our product or about our users. But anytime we set up a research study, whether quantitative or qualitative, there is danger that it will not be valid. In other words, that it does not measure what we want it to measure. There are two big types of study design errors, external validity errors and internal validity errors. Let's talk first about external validity. Let's assume that you're redesigning a newspaper site and you recruit unpaid volunteers to test it. Now, research shows that volunteers tend to be more intelligent, better educated, and have higher social status than other kinds of participants. Moreover, it's very possible that those people who responded to your ad have some history with the newspaper. For example, they may already be subscribers who love it. Their prior experience and willingness to test the site for free may impact the results of your study. Or let's say you're testing a mobile design. And the first thing you're asking your participants is to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Will your findings generalize to the use of the design in the real world? Mobile connections in real world are a lot more variable and signal strength can be a big problem. In both these examples, the newspaper study and the mobile testing example, the studies are missing external validity. The other type of study validity, internal validity, refers to whether the study favors any of the conditions being studied. For example, think of an A-B variation study for an e-commerce website. Variation A is launched before Christmas and variation B after Christmas. Obviously, the traffic on the site will be very different in those two periods and may bias the data in one direction or another. In fact, in this example, the time of the test is what is called a confounding variable, a variable that may inadvertently influence the results of the study. Let's take another example. If we were to do a usability test on those two designs, and we always showed participants design A first, then design B, that would also be a study that lacks internal validity. The confounding variable in this situation would be the order in which the sites are shown. It's possible that our participants' perceptions of design B be influenced by their experience and behaviors on design A. Of course, the usual fix to this problem is to alternate which design goes first and have half the users try design B first. To summarize, external validity is about a study that is naturalistic, meaning that the participants and the setup are representative for the real world situation in which the design is used. Internal validity means that the study does not have any confounding variables and does not favor or encourage any particular participant response or behavior. Poorly planned research will translate in results that are invalid. You may have potentially wasted time and money on running a study which doesn't tell you anything about your product or your audience. Pay attention to your study's internal and external validity. Strive to recruit participants that are representative of your target audience. Make sure that a study setup replicates how your users will use the system in real life and that it does not encourage any one behavior or response.